Alex Lewis wearing the red trunks against this uh, one time quite useful performer in the white trunks Tyrell Biggs who fought uh, Mike Tyson for the World Championship in 1987 that was his first defeat and really he's never been a really serious contender for the world title again since but Lennox Lewis 26 years old born in uh, London but brought up in Canada is certainly one of the most interesting heavyweight prospects in the world today and of course he's now the current British and European heavyweight champion and this is a big test for him against Tyrell Biggs Biggs is remembered for his fight with Gary Mason at the Royal Albert Hall in 1989 and Mason got rid of him in seven rounds Mason had a, quite a struggle with uh, Biggs as I recall it but this is a great chance for Lennox Lewis not only to look good in the World Heavyweight Championship stakes but this is a chance of revenge because Biggs is the man who beat him in the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles outpointing Lewis in the quarterfinals of those Olympic Games and of course four years later Lewis came back to Seoul in the Olympics and won the gold medal but here's a chance to settle an old score with Biggs and Lewis has made a pretty confident start big man Lennox Lewis 16 stone six and a half pounds and Biggs in fact is just half a pound heavier than that a rather crude overhand swinging right from Lewis and he can box a lot better than that he's got a lot of talent Lennox Lewis he's a neat boxer and he carries an almighty punch and of course with Bruno back the hype is already beginning for a possible showdown between the veteran Frank Bruno and the up-and-comer Lennox Lewis at some time in the next year or so but Lewis might set his sights on bigger things than that if he does well here. These two should have boxed on the postponed Holyfield Tyson bill in Las Vegas at the beginning of November. And now this fight has been brought to Atlanta, Georgia, along with the, the fight between Holyfield and Burke Cooper. And Biggs hurt with 11 seconds to go in the opening round. Extraordinary right hands Lewis is throwing. But Biggs is too slow to get out of the way of him. Well, Lewis made a confident start. Some of it looked pretty crude, actually. He could certainly box a lot better than that. But uh, nothing Biggs has done so far poses any problems for Lennox Lewis. And it's uh, already looking as though that sort of punching might get this over fairly quickly. Scheduled 10 rounder. Second round. Tyrell Biggs in the white trunks. He'll be 31 next month having his first fight since March. And Lewis straight into the attack again. Again with his over, overarm right hands. Lewis has won all his 17 pro fights so far in two and a half years as a pro. And he's won them all bar one inside the distance and nobody's ever taken him beyond eight rounds <laughs> Lewis of course born in East London although he left this country as a child now being seen as perhaps the man who will get Britain her first world heavyweight championship this century looking very much the sort of man these days 
that goes in to test the youngsters without too much hope of winning. Strange enough, he's only had 23 fights in seven years as a pro. Biggs, not been very busy. He's won 19 of them. But every time he's lost, he's been stopped. Riddick Bow, who is the sort of American equivalent of Lennox Lewis. Riddick Bow knocked out Biggs in eight rounds. So Lewis will be trying to uh, improve on that. Veteran Biggs just beginning to look a little saucy. When Lewis gets going, he really does mix his punches up well. And to be fair, Biggs is coming back at him with something. covered up when big swings the counters stop, stop, stop. And Lewis rather nonchalantly chasing his man as Lennox Lewis's mother and uh, well she'll be smiling even more broadly once he's won if he wins round three Lennox Lewis in the red trunks, Terrell Biggs, close to 31 years old now. He was beaten by Mike Tyson in seven rounds in 1987 in Atlantic City. Can Lewis get, get rid of him faster than that? He might. And the punches are beginning to find the target rather ominously from Biggs' point of view. One low one there from Lewis. Gets away with it. trying to get some boxing together and Lewis still patiently pursuing I can remember Biggs giving Gary Mason quite a lot of trouble in the early rounds Pursuit continues. Lewis just needs to put a few more punches together if he's going to impress the American fight scene. A chance for him to look really good here. forward on flat feet rather than the way that Joe Lewis used to do that was a good right hand and over for the first time in this fight goes Tyrell Biggs and with 50 seconds to go he'll do well to survive this third round Lewis may only need to catch him once more like that and it could be over and a desperate swing from Biggs and a much better right from Lewis the second knockdown well, Biggs knows where he is, and he's conscious of the count, but there's still half a minute left. The referee looks into his eyes. Okay, he goes on. Can Lewis get rid of him now? Down twice, Biggs. The second's ticking away in the third round. And everything coming at him, and over he goes for the third time, and the referee has stopped it. It's all over in the third round. So faster than Tyson, Lennox Lewis beats to Royal Biggs and Mum now is really pleased. That was a good performance from Lennox Lewis and he really is a great prospect 
and Britain are very glad to have him. So let's have another look at the way Biggs was beaten down three times in the third round. When he really let them go, it was all up with Tyrell Biggs. And here's a very fine prospect, Lennox Lewis. This is the first knockdown. Tremendous thumping right hand to the side of the head. And really did quite well to get up from that one. He came back with a great slashing punch, but had to take another right hand. 